Well, there was a rally outside NFL headquarters in New York yesterday, a United We Stand rally, and that's in support of Colin Kaepernick. All right, Tamika Mallory, who's a friend to the show, by the way, spoke, Absolutely. spoke there, and the NAACP was tweeting, we demand that the NFL protect the rights of their players who speak out on injustice. Every Colin Kaepernick will tell you that it's, n- oh, even Colin Kaepernick will tell you that it's not just about Colin Kaepernick. We're here standing for justice for all. Here is Tamika Mallory. They say, well, people get dropped from teams all the time. But those who are saying that to you are confused. They have decided to ignore racism, bigotry, and white supremacy in this country. We are not stupid, brothers and sisters. Don't let them tell you that we are out here for one man. I like Colin Kaepernick. I think he is a good dude, but I didn't come out here today for one man. I'm glad that Tamika said that because I did feel like we was getting off message with the NFL protests. I think sometimes people forget what Colin was kneeling for to begin with, the messages of protest, the police brutality and social injustice, not to get Colin a job back in the NFL. Right. I guess for uh, some people, though, it's a bigger thing than just Colin. As far as NFL, I don't think anybody anticipated all this coming out of him. It, it, it should have always been bigger than Colin. I mean, Colin, yeah. Colin knows it's bigger than him. As far right. as the NFL, though, I mean, I think what that was, was it just highlighted like, damn, is it really that, you know, you can't even stand up for what or kneel down for what you believe in in the NFL. And but, then it brings into question, what are these owners thinking? And- well, I just have a, I have a question. Like, you know, you, you, the NFL building in the city. But don't each individual team can decide who they want to pick as a player or who they want to hire as a player? Yeah, but when every team clearly is not trying to sign Colin Kaepernick, right. then there's something else going it's like on. A so wide, like clearly it's a widespread clearly problem. It's almost, it's clearly almost, a call has been made no, or something. Right. But it almost feels like you should, we should go to the, the individual franchises in every city. Cause the NFL, Why? Because it's the franchise that actually picks the players. They're the one that, that buys the players but and, the and trades the, the players. The NFL is the system that all these teams are under. Like, you can't – I think it'd be a more concerted effort. It feels like effort. a conspiracy, Right. It's a basically. more concerted effort to go right in front of NFL headquarters. Well, Colin Kaepernick posted on Instagram, the million-dollar pledge is still going strong because, you know, he has pledged to donate a million dollars. He says they have so far donated $800,000, and he has 200000 left to go. So this month – he actually donated – one of the things he donated to was J. Cole's Dreamville Foundation. I see that. That was dope. As low as well as the Lower East Side Girls Club and 100 suits for 100 men. Drop on the clues bomb for Colin Kaepernick and the Know Your Rights camp. Damn it! I feel like uh, Dreamville should be donating to the Know Your Rights camp. J Cole getting a lot of money out here, but congratulations. Wow. All right, now Ice Cube is going to be broadcasting games from his Big Three Network live now. He has a new radio station on Dash Radio, and they're going to broadcast live from the games. There's going to be interviews with the players. There's going to be highlights, a weekly media conference with Ice Cube as well, and he's going to have some of the players do playlists. So it should be pretty interesting because, obviously, basketball and hip-hop, he said, has gone together since the latter's inception. The culture of one moves into the other. When we were building this league, this experience, the soundtrack was just as important as the venue. We couldn't just bring in a DJ and put him in a corner. So This is going to be for next season because this, this weekend, is, I think, is the last game, right? Yeah, they actually, it's available now. Okay. Big 3 Radio is available now if you go to Dash Radio. All right, and Rihanna has launched the Dollar Campaign, and that's a fundraiser for education. So under her Clara Lionel Foundation, she's going to do that. That's going to help aspiring students in Malawi and those who donate to help send children to school. That initiative gives people who donate a chance to win a ticket to the Diamond Ball as well. That takes place in New York City on September 14th. So every dollar donated gives one brick to a school in Malawi. Every $5 provides five bricks to a school. Every $10 provides 10 books. Every $15 provides a girl with essential school supplies. And every $20 provides a month of schooling for a girl. So you know the breakdown of where your money is going. Good. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.